All right, there is breaking quarterback news. Derek Carr is going to be a New Orleans Saints quarterback. After just last night, it appeared that Derek Carr said he was leaning towards the Jets. He signs with the New Orleans Saints this morning. So one can only imagine that was used as leverage to get more money out of the Saints. As of recording this, the contract details of the Derek Carr to the New Orleans Saints have not been released. We do know that it is a four-year deal. And that was someone that the New York Jets were high on. He was pretty much, everyone reported he was their number two option behind Aaron Rodgers. So what does that tell you? It is Aaron Rodgers or bust for the New York Jets. There are no other legitimate options unless you want to say uh, Lamar Jackson with if he gets that uh, tag and then you give up the two first round picks to bring him in. Other than that, you are picking from the bottom of the barrel. And this video is not going to be, it's not scripted. I, I'm calling it, it's not scripted, it's just vibes. I just needed to vent uh, and get just natural Jet fans' thoughts out there. So earlier this morning, as we said, Derek Carr, uh, it comes to the conclusion that he is going to end up with the New Orleans Saints. So that really only leaves you one choice, as I mentioned in Aaron Rodgers. Could Lamar Jackson be on the table? I suppose so, but... It doesn't seem like that is a more likely option. Again, their number one choice all along was Aaron Rodgers. So while I'm not like necessarily crazy upset about Carr going to the Saints, that seems to make a ton of sense. That's where he visited first. Going to the NFC South always kind of felt likely here. It's just nerve wracking because you really only have this one great option because beyond that, it's like Jimmy G and you're hoping and praying that he's able to stay healthy for a full season, something he's only done once in his entire career, or you're trying a retread option like, I don't know, Baker Mayfield, or you're paying an exorbitant amount of money for Daniel Jones or Geno Smith, Ryan Tannehill supposedly going back to Tennessee, not that that one would have really excited me too much, but your, your options after the top two guys are, is a vast, vast drop-off. So one of the dominoes fell. Derek Carr is no longer an option. He was your number two option, so at least it's not the number one. But you got to figure this out with Aaron Rodgers right now. You have to. And if you come away with none of these guys, that's not a good look for, for Joe Douglas. It just flat out is not a good look for Joe Douglas. He had to come into this offseason and come away with Aaron Rodgers, or Derek Carr. One of those two guys had to be quarterbacking the New York Jets going into 2023. In my opinion, they're clearing away the two best options. You could debate all day long whether it was really Aaron Rodgers or Derek Carr, and you have people on both sides of the aisle. I get it. I was fine with either of those two guys, but now it really comes down to you're waiting on Rodgers, and you better have a freaking good idea if he's coming here or not, if you're not making that, that signing for Derek Carr. Again, still looking on the money. We don't have that uh, yet, but the big thing is the ah, uh, it's just so frustrating, man. It's it's nerve wracking experience. It's an anxiety ridden thing where you're just waiting to hear from Rodgers. Is it a perfect situation? No, obviously the the Jets quarterback hopes and prayers are on a guy who may retire, or may go back to his old team. But at least if you want a positive spin, this it it feels like there's a breakup coming for. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. It, it just with multiple people tweeting it out, people in the know talking about it. Uh, Adam Schefter had it earlier this week. There have been other reports where, you know, it feels like the two sides are ready to move on, where it's the Jets or retire. That's all well and good, but it just how much longer is this supposed to go on? The legal tampering period starts a week from today. So I was hoping and I assumed the Jets quarterback position will be figured out by Friday, the absolute latest. But, man, this is just the longer this goes on, the scarier it gets. Uh, Derek Carr is a New Orleans Saint. Good on him. Uh, I think he's going to do well there. I think they'll win that division pretty easily. He's a good op. He was a very good option for the Jets. In my opinion, an easy a top 15 quarterback in the league. Solid quarterback. They're winning the NFC South. Can they go on a run much further beyond that? I'm not sold because of the rest of the roster. The roster is not as good as the New York Jets roster is. Um, but... We'll see. Maybe maybe it is going to be Aaron Rodgers all along, and then we could kind of relax and not have this stress just beating over us. But stressful times if you're a New York Jet fan. I want to, you know, I needed to vent a little bit, get my frustrations and thoughts out. You guys do the same down below in the comments. I'll respond. We'll go back and forth. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Matt O'Leary. Catch you next time.